Oh, yeah. That's right. Along these same lines, it all comes down to a lack of an incarnational principle. So when I was talking about how the fullness of God's revelation coming through Jesus Christ, this fullness, um, I started talking about um, the relationship between Christ and the incarnation as a man. That's what it was. I was talking about the differences between men and women and the theological implications of God becoming incarnate as a man to do through a man what only a man could do, theologically speaking, in the, uh, the scheme of uh, uh, scheme of uh, salvation history, and that uh, Mary did what only a woman could do, which is to give of her own flesh and blood you know, for the redemption of humanity. And uh, to just see within that mother-son relationship that complementarity between uh, men and women, that there are certain things, like sometimes people complain, or, or like, well, why can't women be priests or something like that? Well, I can complain, you know, well, why can't men give birth to children? You know, I mean, it's the same sort of thing. It's like, no, we're not equal. All right, we're complementary. There are certain things that women do that men just absolutely cannot, either by nature or uh, otherwise. And uh, the same thing is true in, in terms of men. And uh, I tried to put an emphasis that uh, the greatest of God's creatures is Mary, right? Crown, crowned uh, Queen of Heaven right and uh, the, the mother of all Christians I said she has been elevated she has been granted such grace you know for anyone to try and argue that women have not been uplifted by Christianity um, uh, don't have a proper understanding of Mary in their theology. That, that, that's a problem. All right? Because the more you really understand just how blessed she was, all right, um, I, 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 only then and through, through that is someone really going to understand that, uh, you know, uh, maybe you shouldn't fuss so much. Um, I mean, one really needs to understand the uh, the theology of ordination. This is it's the same thing. It's just ignorance. Uh, the more people understand about the theology of ordination, uh, the more people understand about the theology. Well, they're the sacraments, right? Um, the, the sacrament of marriage. To knowing exactly what marriage is, instead of redefining it or having some sort of personal preference. <coughs> the less people are going to ask these kinds of questions, as if they're accusing the church of uh, being um, misogynistic or womanizing and, and stuff like that uh, I, th I don't know if it was recently but within the last couple of years when Pope Francis was asked about can women become priests which I wish people would quit quit with that John Paul II Pope John Paul II said very clearly the church does not have the authority to ordain, ordain women church can't do it right it violates its theology they have no authority uh, from Christ to do it. Uh, it it runs counter to um, the the model in which Christ gave to us himself and choosing his own disciples it's the church can't do it the church has no authority of doing it and uh, for some reason people just continue to ask the question as if somehow by asking the question yet one more time 
that oh okay well you know what okay fine 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 you know like uh, like a kid that's badgering you for candy and you just finally give in that cannot happen and so it's just a really unfortunate thing um, but in his response Pope Francis made it very clear that um, women have great dignity and we even speak of the church herself in feminine terms uh, and so um, especially the church as being the bride of Christ right um, so for all the things that could be said in, in this regard um, um, I've really set out to try to show in the relationship between Mary and Christ and seeing the elevation of human flesh uh, in, in both of them as the, the second Adam and the new Eve um, seeing the complementarity of the roles and, and the, the harmony of that um, people ought to just be at peace at their role in life and quit trying to see I mean that's part of the the fall right it was the that the man would rule over you right and and, and uh, the woman would have would desire her husband and in this we could see that uh, men because of the fall have a tendency to subjugate the uh, the woman uh, to not give her the dignity that uh, she deserves and and likewise the woman often wants to usurp the role of the man and be the authoritarian and uh, to um, try to subjugate him and um, and all of this it's just tendencies of the fall but it's restored in its proper order in the church and exemplified uh, I believe in this relationship between mother and son between Mary and Christ and so I just tried to impact some of the theological implications of some of these things, right?